We have some other great ideas for newspaper media coming up. It's time for the Accelerator Pitch Program winners to come on stage and tell us about their new solutions for print, digital, mobile, and advertising needs. Uh, I wasn't here last year, but many of you who were here last year talked about how great this Accelerator Pitch Program was. So seven winners selected from hundreds of startups, and we're going to showcase their ideas to you today. They just may have the best idea you never heard of. So to introduce this year's winners, Sean O'Leary is going to come up. He's the Director of Communications at the NAA and has organized this program for the last two years. Please welcome Sean O'Leary. All right. Well, I am very excited to be here uh, right now. I am extremely biased, but I believe that the Accelerator Pitch Program is by far the best part of Media Exchange, and I hope that you agree. Uh, so it was really cool to follow uh, Marcus Whitney. Uh, just a perfect segue into you know what you're going to see here. Um, I've always been a big fan of startups. You know, between the hard work, the dedication, the long hours. You know, these people are really invested in their companies, and I think that's going to come across. You know, when they come up and they present, um, and it's pretty cool because this is our, our second year doing the Accelerator Pitch. Uh, and it's been very cool to see our first-year winners and how they've grown uh, in the past year. Um, for example, Simplify is a sponsor. I'm sure you've seen their logo uh, walking by. Uh, eBuyline was a winner last year. They got acquired in the last year. Um, they've literally been around our necks all week because they sponsored the lanyard. Uh, Samba, uh, their CEO Matt will be uh, speaking later in a session about increasing revenue. Um, if you haven't met Matt, you've probably seen his face a lot because he had the honor of having the best picture taken from last year's media exchange. So I have put his photo um, in just about every piece of marketing material over the last three months. So Matt, if you're here, you're welcome for the free pub. Uh, and then uh, Kim Wilson from Social News Desk. Uh, she was on the social media panel yesterday with Facebook and BuzzFeed, which is a pretty good company to keep. Uh, her company was also acquired uh, in the past year, and she actually told me a, a pretty interesting anecdote uh, that she closed a pretty big size deal in the very first conversation took place immediately after the Accelerator Pitch program. So for our seven winners this year, the bar has been set very high, no pressure, uh, but you guys need to do good. Um, so now for the nuts and bolts of this, uh, so this is open to startup companies uh, that are aimed at helping newspapers print, uh, mobile, digital, or advertising needs. We open up the nominations in October. We got about 40 companies that submitted. Uh, so these seven are the cream of the crop. Um, so what is going to happen right now is they each get four minutes to give you their best pitch and to wow you. Um, and when their four minutes are up, and this is obviously the best part of this, there will be a buzzer. <laughs> so don't feel bad if you're like rooting for the buzzer to happen. I probably will be too. Uh, so with that out of the way, I would now like to introduce our first presenters from Okanjo, uh, Brendan Thomas and Aaron Ulicki. Good luck. They do this. Thank you all for joining us. You are in this room because you recognize that innovation and diversification are the keys to revenue growth for your publications. And we're really excited to be part of this conversation. We moving? There we go. So we're going to discuss e-commerce, because that is the piece that has been missing from our industry's toolbox for a while, particularly at the local level. Within e-commerce, across any industry, there are two key elements that you need for success. And newspapers have this 10 times over. As Sean O'Leary shared, or Aaron Rodgers, as he is known, you have the trust of your community and the readership to go along with that. The two key elements for e-commerce success, particularly at the local level, are trust and traffic. And it's time for you to leverage those into creating a new revenue stream for your publications. You are uniquely poised to capture significant budget from your local and regional advertisers. And we're going to help you do that. You need to do this now, because your competition is ahead of you. Facebook and Twitter recently launched Buy Now Buttons. Pinterest and Googles are on their way. And your local advertisers are spending dollars you do not see with those competitors. It is time to capture those dollars through a Buy Now button of your own. And Brendan's going to share how we're going to do that for you. Thank you, Erin. Real quick show of hands, how many of you were in the local marketplace success session about an hour and a half ago? 
All right, that's most of the hands in the room. It's obvious this is a topic that's really important to all of us, and we at Okanjo are extremely excited to share with you our native commerce marketplace. The reason we're so excited is we truly believe our platform can help you create and own your own new digital Main Street and realize new digital recurring revenue through it. We have three plug-and-play features that can help you get there quickly and easily, and they are our native marketplace, our related products widget, and our shoppable ads. Our native marketplace lets you lease digital storefront space on your digital Main Street. It matches the look and feel of your publication and lets you drive exposure for your local advertisers. Our related products widget makes sure that that marketplace doesn't get hidden in a menu buried somewhere. It brings relevant products right into the content alongside or within them, making that content shoppable. And last, we can make your native ads and your standard ads shoppable with our own Buy Now button. This works on web, mobile, and video. Best of all, buyers don't leave the content when they're done shopping, meaning you're no longer getting paid to send people away from your site. So what we've learned here is the key to your future digital imprint campaigns is e-commerce. This is the foundation on which your sales team can go in and have deeper conversations with your advertisers, and your internal agencies can build full circle marketing campaigns. Through Native Commerce with Okonjo's platform, you will secure your local market. You will continue to be a trusted resource to your advertisers, and you will create new monthly recurring revenue for your publications. This is your market. You own this. You have the trust of the community. You have the readership. Let's go transform your content into commerce and create new revenue. Thank you. All right, so we heard the buzzer, so that was fun. Uh, and they, I think they kind of sucked up to me by, by quoting me, but oh well. Uh, so the next person I'd like to introduce from Ad Husky is Tech. Oh, <laughs> threw me off. Yeah, press that. Hello, this is Ad Husky. Yeah, the mic. Hello, this is Ad Husky. So this is the uh, chart about the ad growth opportunity across multiple formats. So as you can expect, social and mobile are one of the two most fast growing uh, market opportunity. Though I want to make one comment about the consolidation happening between social and mobile ad space. So previously, if you wanted to advertise on social and mobile, you had to buy ad twice. But in 2014 last year, both Facebook and Twitter announced that they are going to connect their ad buying process into non-social mobile applications as well. What it means is it's very important for you to have a capability to buy ad effectively from Facebook and Twitter. So this is a market opportunity. Another opportunity is the SMB sector. So small business owners right now, they spend about $10 billion for the social ad uh, marketing space right now. Though still, 50%, more than 50% of them are not advertising because they find it too difficult and then they can't really afford ad agencies. And that's where we kick in. Uh, and in case you don't quite understand why it's difficult to advertise on Facebook yourself, these are a couple of screenshots that you have to go through if you want to advertise on Facebook. And they change this pretty frequently, which makes it challenging for small business owners. And that's where we kick in. Uh, newspaper companies right now, you are getting image and text about advertisement and deliver this to potential consumers via newsprint or online channel. What we help you do is we help you transform this image and text into the format of Facebook and Twitter ad and then buy this ad space for you effectively. That's what we do. So benefits, uh, and there are multiple ways to make it happen. It depends on your newspaper company's sales structure. For one particular case, Salesforce is going out with our interface and then fill up this information with the merchant. In another case, we get a batch information from newspaper companies and process it from the back end. At the end, it's the same thing, but we require a different level of integration with your system. 
And the benefits to SMB is very clear. So 50% of them who could not advertise on Facebook right now, now they could advertise thanks to newspaper company and Adosti. And the value that we add to newspaper company is revenue share. Depending on the specific arrangement, our fee, our revenue share percentage varies, but 5 to 10% of total ad spend is, um, will go to your company. And this, as a whole industry, this corresponds to about $1 to $2 billion in terms of total revenue opportunity. And we have been working with Eventbrite, Yahoo Weeks, and most recently we are working with financial service firms like First Aid and Thesis, who are, you may know this already, but they actually are the one who installed this credit card processor for small business owners, and they are looking for new revenue opportunity with us in this social media ad space. And that's me, and uh, we are based in San Francisco, and uh, we are advised by advisors in Facebook, Groupon, and McKinsey & Company, and funded by NSF and a couple of other incubation spaces in San Francisco. Uh, so if you have any question about Facebook ad, uh, either as a newspaper media company or other ad company who want to enter Facebook ad space, let us know. Thank you. Good job. All right, well, that was a fantastic presentation. Uh, the next person I'd like to introduce from Tryon Interactive, Al Shermer. Good luck. Hello, everyone. My name is Al Shermer. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Tryon Interactive, and today I'm going to talk to you about our M-Screen video platform. What if I was to tell you that we could replace your remnant banner inventory with premium video inventory? And what if I could tell you that it would require no programming whatsoever on the publisher side? So basically, you use a platform that's easier than what you use now and would make you more money. If that's interesting, that is our end screen video platform. And the way it works is it allows publishers to quickly and easily add video advertising to their site, regardless of whether or not you have video content. In fact, Jason White, just earlier from Facebook, said that there is a huge opportunity for video in the newspaper space. And we have some stats that back that up. We just launched the platform in Q4 of last year, and already we've done half a billion ads. We've added over seven figures of new revenue to our clients. And we've raised publisher revenue by up to 400%. Bottom line to the publishers in the room, this is a six-figure opportunity that could be even higher if you're a large publisher or in multiple markets of 30 plus. So what is the M screen? It basically marries supply and demand on the mobile video side. We take the ads, and in real time, we convert them, and we place them in very light video players that are optimized for the end user. The way this works is we have everything set up for our publishers, for your publishers to be uh, monetizing everything that you need. This is why we are trusted by some of the top brands and publishers that are in this room today. Uh, we've been able to go through and be a trusted source for them. So how will we work together? Well, first and foremost, as simple as the platform is, we have immediate demand side revenue available for you right now. In fact, we can also scale. So even if you can sell nationwide ads, even if, say, 90% of your, your traffic is here in Nashville. And finally, we offer our added value for all of our high impact, uh, rich engaging video units that will take into place all of the features of the phone. That's the camera units, the accelerometer, the gyroscope. The bottom line, we have meaningful revenue available for our partners right now. A few weeks ago at the IEB conference, Mark Thompson, the CEO of the New York Times, said that the battle will be won on the smartphone. And we couldn't agree more. But how will that battle be won? That battle will be won with high quality content produced by our nation's publishers in the newspaper industry. And it will be one with video, which is the preferred format for which brands want to engage with their consumers. So let's work together. So what is your video strategy right now? Let's partner together to make sure you're ready for when everything comes through. I'd like to thank everyone for their time and thank the NAA for this opportunity to present to you. Thank you very much.
So I think it's funny, this is the second time we've done it, and both years, uh, the first person got the buzzer, and everyone else is going like 40 minutes, or 40 seconds short, so very interesting. Uh, the next person I'd like to introduce from Hatchback, Josh Benton. I'm actually gonna use the podium this morning. Good morning, I'm Josh, I'm one of the co-founders of Hatchback, and I have four minutes to tell you why Hatchback is good for you, your users, and of course, how to get started. So, newspapers are not effectively monetizing mobile, even though almost everyone has a smartphone. There's mobile banner, there's push notifications, there's geofencing, and all these have their place, but none are making a really big impact when it comes to revenue. The issue is, mobile isn't a channel like the web or print. It's an entirely different kind of platform that's always on, doesn't need a browser, and is always with users. We need a paradigm shift. Media companies think about mobile like they do a small screen website, whereas tech companies use mobile to gather data on everyone. Who do you think is winning? Hatch Hatchback does two things that are good for you. It collects unique data on your users and builds your interest graph. You know where, you, where users go, how they got there, how much time they spend at places like Starbucks, the music they listen to, the apps uh, they have on their device. Imagine being able to go to your advertisers and say, let me tell you something about your customers you don't know. Second, Hatchback allows you to monetize mobile using the tools you already have. Whether it's ads or offers or events, Hatchback allows you to understand and engage every single user as an individual. That's really important. This is the same game that Facebook and Google play, and now it's your turn. You know, engagement has become such a cliche, but nowhere is it more important than mobile. Think about how people use their device. It's all high-touch, low-fidelity usage. People want the most info with the lowest amount of effort. Mobile is really about the moment, that ideal, perishable point in time. And there are lots of moments in everyday life, moments right for ordering lunch, moments right for reading content, the many moments that lead up to buying a new car. The data Hatchback collects allows us to understand and engage these moments. A great example of this is happening in the Pittsburgh market right now with our media clients. In that market, Hatchback is being used to serve offers to, for everything from pizza to car inspections. We're doing this because we have comprehensive data on the users in that mar market and are able to send the perfect offer to the right person at the right time. So, Hatchback works and installs very easily. Once installed, it begins collecting data on users behind the scenes 24-7. Again, we're gathering unique data on people's physical and behavioral context. At the same time, our technology mines the data for those monetizable moments. In this case, as you'll see, cars and cafes with this beautiful smiling couple. This gives you the ability to engage the right users at the right time with the right offer or event or whatever because our API allows you to use the tools that you already have to monetize the data. Or of course, you can use our offers model like our clients in Pittsburgh. Here's a great analogy. Search engines index web pages so you can find them. Hatchback actually indexes every individual user based on their mobile data so you can find the right person for whatever you're selling. Getting started is simple. You install an SDK, a software development kit, into your apps. It begins collecting data. We collect data for 30 to 60 days. During that time period, we model your market and we look for the best opportunities for you to make money. We may launch offers or tie Hatchback into your events provider. It all depends upon your users and their data. So we've spoken a lot about engaging moments, but the bigger message of this four minutes is that there's never been a better moment to think about mobile in a completely new way. This is what Hatchback is all about. Wow, that was perfect. When I was sitting there, yeah. we just closed our next round of funding. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Can I tell them that? Uh, he was telling me that as he was sitting there, uh, they just closed our next round of funding. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> So he's in a good mood. Hopefully everyone else is in a good mood. Uh, the next person to introduce is Atul from Wad. I pronounced that wrong, sorry. Hello, everyone. I'm Atul Tulsibagwale, founder and CEO of LAD. And I'd like to thank the NAA for giving us the opportunity to speak in front of this wonderful audience. 
I was one of the early employees at VeriSign where we were, we were building the core internet trust and security infrastructure that is now embedded in all the infrastructure that you use, phones, routers, servers, everything. Um, I later started my own uh, identity management company, TrustGenix, uh, which had a number of Global 2000 customers and which I sold to HP in a competitive bidding situation. I want to leverage this background I have in identity management and uh, large-scale infrastructure to take a completely fresh look at content monetization. As digital publishers, uh, we know that you've had to make a pact with the devil. Um, Google or Facebook or any other content dis discovery platform that forces you to give your content away for free. If you swing too much in the paywall direction, well, then you're going to lose relevance and ad revenue. But if you give everything for free, then you're not going to motivate your sub sub users to subscribe. Laud, on the other hand, makes best friends between your ad revenue and your subscription revenue. We ensure the discoverability of your content on all the content discovery platforms, but at the same time, strongly motivate your users to subscribe or otherwise engage with the content. With Laud, what helps ad revenue also helps subscription revenue. In the next few slides, I explain how. Laud's patent pending innovations start with reimagining the news article as a composite of lower and higher value content. While you can offer a standard experience to all your users for free, you can uh, provide additional value uh, to your pri privileged users within any page. Um, content discovery is unaffected by this because uh, you're providing friction-free access to all pages uh, to all users. And at the same time, you're able to leverage your unique content, like maybe uh, some local news report or uh, infographics or um, uh, even editorial cartoons to um, drive additional subscriptions and additional uh, uh, engagement. Here's how. With Laud, uh, publishers can uh, provide three different ways in which users can access the premium content. Users can subscribe, and the subscription link appears much uh, more prominently than in a metered paywall. And uh, it also appears overlaid on important content, so there is a greater value perception to the subscription or users can watch a video ad, and the video ad appears in a premium position and has guaranteed visibility, viewability. Or you, users can also earn points when they generate traffic to your website. And uh, they can use those points to then access the premium content. So uh, with Lord, you get three different options that you can use on their own or in combination with the other to let users access the premium content. Here's how the traffic generation works. Users uh, see a toolbar uh, with which they can access the, uh, with which they can share the content on social media. And users get two points for every visit generated back to your site. So the incentive is not on the sharing itself, but on actual uh, traffic coming back. So it encourages meaningful sharing. And users can use one point uh, to view premium content on any page. Here's how easy all this is. Uh, you ha we have a self-service portal. Uh, you just have to embed one tag. It's as easy as embedding a YouTube video and get started. And this works just the same on all platforms, uh, PCs, mobiles, tab tablets. Um, that's it. I'll be available for uh, questions later. And thank you very much. All right, that was fantastic. And the next person coming to the stage from Buzzboard, Anthony Brady. Great, thank you. Well, the good news is there's one more left, and the buzzer hasn't gone off. So my name is Anthony Brady. I'm with Buzzboard. And first thing, I want to say thank you to the NAA for letting us uh, present to you today, and then also to our existing customers. So we have many customers and partners in the market today and in the room. And thank you very much for all the continued support. And I hope what you get out of this presentation is a new view of Buzzboard 3.0, uh, which just launched about two weeks ago. So very simple. If you leave anything from these next uh, three minutes and 33 seconds, Buzzboard drives sales revenue with your existing sales teams in the marketplace today. We drive a 35x ROI in the first 60 days, and many of our customers had doubled their revenue per rep per sale as they roll out Buzzboard. But, so that's what you had to leave with. So I'll start going through the story. So the Buzzboard story is simple. We've outlined each step in the sales process, and we've put it into four primary buckets. And if you look at the primary buckets, it's very simple. Every sale goes through a journey of discovering who to sell to, how do we, once you figure out who to go sell to, 
How do you engage with that customer? How do you get the quick, next, next part is how do you close that customer with a presentation or a proposal? And then once the sale is closed, how do you move that into the fulfillment process? And so we've outlined each step in that process to help show the sales reps who to go sell to. It's not leads, it's not lists, it's very targeted data. We have 25 million data points and we could use your existing data as well, or 25 million businesses profiled by 152 different data points. And we show the sales reps who has the higher propensity to buy in a very nice, clean format. The second step is, how do you engage with that customer? So a lot of sales reps call up and, and in the past have said, let me learn about your business, let me tell you about our new product. We give a very targeted way. Next is, how do you get the proposal and the presentation done? Some reps do a presentation, takes 20 minutes to put it together. Others take four hours. We show you a nice, clean way to do that. And then lastly, once the sale is made, how do you push it into fulfillment? So very simply, here's a, here's a look at our UI and the user interface. But based upon geo and vertical, imagine your sales reps can turn around and point to who are the right prospects. Maybe it's only growing companies or folks that buy display ads or AdWords. So based upon their current spend today and their profile, we help show the sales reps who to go sell to. Then the next step, very simply, we give insights about that business. So maybe it's existing data you buy from other research and data providers, or maybe it's just news and mentions and reviews. We put it in a nice, clean way so that the sales reps go and check this view every single time they pick up the phone to go call the customer. The next step, we give a 360 view based upon all their advertising. So whether it's their digital presence or performance, whether it's AdWords or radio or TV, they're able to go in and see a complete easy view. And the goal here, it's not a site grader. There's thousands of tools out there that the sales reps use today, and they become a distraction because they're all on different multiple screens. We pull in the best and brightest tools that are out there and help the sales reps have an engaging conversation with the customer so that they're tapping and clicking. And everything, is, everything here is tracked. So they're able to tap and click and show a customer what their advertising looks like. More importantly, and this is what helps the, the sales close, they show what their competitors look like. So every customer knows they need to advertise better and what their advertising looks like. But what we help do is show what their competitors look like in one clean, easy view. Now, a lot of you are also using tools that help share screens or track emails. Uh, that's built into Buzzboard. So they don't have to go to a screen share tool or an email tracking tool to see if somebody's read their proposal. And then lastly, everybody aspires to do an ROI calculator. They're done off a napkin or a spreadsheet. We put it into the tool, and this way it gets into their presentation. The next step in the process is very quickly, how do I close that customer and get a proposal done the right way every day? That buzzer's gonna go off. And then, uh, how, do I, how do I procure and sell it? But so what we do is we, we live on our sales reps giving us good feedback. Go to our website, buzzboard.com, and uh, you can see all the feedback that we get. Thanks. <laughs> they gave you a couple extra seconds. Clicker. Uh, yeah, he got a couple extra seconds, so I'm sorry about that. I think we all wanted that buzzer to happen. Uh, so now for our last presenter from TouchCast, Paul Field. Just agreeing on you. Um, so I'm Paul from TouchCast. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, I was in the newspaper industry for 25 years. Um, I was a journalist and editor at the Daily Mail. This is how I looked uh, in my first picture byline for the Daily Mail back in 1996. Um, however, I left the Daily Mail after uh, becoming third in command at the paper and running one of its digital businesses just over a year ago to join TouchCast. Um, and I hope the reasons I did that are about to become clear. By next year, 55% of all web traffic will be video, and increasingly it will be on mobile. But it's very hard and it's very expensive to produce great video content. And I don't mean repurposing sort of AP and Reuters feeds, I mean original content by your own journalists. And that's where TouchCast comes in. We've put the full production facilities of a professional TV studio inside an iPad app with video editing and broadcast graphics. And more excitingly than that, we've put the web inside video. The full richness and interactivity of the web can now live inside video and you can consume all that web content inside video. We call this new medium the video web. And it's already being widely used by broadcasters like the BBC, publishers like the Wall Street Journal and Condé Nast, and brands like Levi's.
I have no audio on my video. Um, this is uh, uh, the story of Now, which was a 20-part interactive documentary series that we produced for the BBC. And the BBC gave Excited. us a brief to produce 25-minute episodes, each with an hour's worth of content inside it. Together. And it was presented the story by Idris of Elba. Now is a voyage of wonder and discovery. I could, for instance, show you an image where it's very. Now I want to show you this because this gives you an, a, a demonstration right of the TouchCast experience. So here, you can play a game inside the video, and you'll see bottom right. This is uh, the video that's paused, and then when you're ready, you go straight back into it. It's the same with video inside Planet video. Learn more, and we mean a lot more. We have an exclusive report from Vanity Fair's royal reporter Katie Nickel in London. Just touch or click this video right here to watch Katie's special report. So when you interact with the video inside the video, the, vid the original video pauses, and then when you're ready to go back to it, you can. Here's the Wall Street Journal producing touchcasts in their own newsroom. Here is a factual documentary by the BBC on the secret life of cats, shot on a, cat, uh, a webcam on a cat collar, and uh, they produced a wonderful interactive documentary series using TouchCast. And BBC News are using it extensively. Hello, I'm Palab Ghosh, and I'm one of the BBC science correspondents. I'm going to now, be telling you... Palab Ghosh, the um, Here I am with uh, science correspondent the there, was not uh, being filmed in a cave. He was using an iPad, and I shot this earlier on in my hotel room, and you can see how you can put yourself inside content just using an iPad and a $50 green screen, which you can buy on Amazon. And it's very, very simple with our app to add the web and other assets. I can add web pages. As the audio is so quiet, I'll talk over it. So here you can see real-time social feeds. I'm adding to the video, and I'm doing this in real time. I'm adding other images. Here I'm adding video. Here I'm adding documents, maps, quizzes, polls. Live. And live. <laughs> News feeds as well. All of this web content can live inside the, the video. Experience it. I wanted to give you a live demo, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. Oh, my time is up. Do TouchCast work? They do. 70% of users are interacting with at least one VAP, and I'd love to talk to you about it in more detail. Paul at touchcast.com. Thank you. Oh, you can just put that back. Just put that back. Uh, well, thank you to all of our Accelerator uh, pitch winners. Um, I would just like to mention, uh, last year, uh, the winners all asked who like, was the winner of the contest, and I didn't realize it was a contest. Uh, so this year, we're going to do like, a little informal contest. We have the hashtag NAA15. Just tweet at us, tell us which company you like the best, and I will let, the, let them know who the winner of the program is. So thank you very much.